considered man's best friend. Affectionate, loyal and great companions. Yes, for the first time on DKW, we're going to be talking about pets. Which is the cheapest one to buy? How can you get one? And what do you have to do to become a really good pet owner? We're going to be talking about these things and more on today's show, so stay tuned. Hello, yes, today we're talking about our pets. That's right. We're a nation of pet lovers, aren't we, ladies? And I'm here, I'm your host, Shireen, and I'm here with fellow pet owners and DKW presenters, Sam. Hi again. Kim. Lovely to be here. Hi. And mm -hmm. MJ. Hello. How are you, darlings? All right? We are yeah, very yeah. well. And how are your pets? Fab? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is going to be a really fun show because we haven't discussed it before, yes. but there's a lot into it and we've got a few games yeah. later on and a few revelations. But before we get into those, tell us, what pet do you have, Sam? Right. My pet is a beautiful bird. Ooh. As you can see, she's here with me today. Her name is Pearl. Wow. So it's a her, it's a she then? Yeah, it's a she. So can you tell me, how long have you had your pet, Sam? I've had my pet, I mean, I've had her about two years now. She was actually a surprise gift for me from my husband. Um, my husband knows that I adore birds and I've, I've always, mm -hmm. I've always said that I would love to have a beautiful white dove or, you know, just, <laughs> just own one and it just belong to me and things like this. But, um, so this is the closest he could get. <laughs> and I, I adore her. I adore her. She's wonderful. And what breed is she? She's a parakeet. Oh, very nice. Yeah, she's a parakeet. And tell us, is she, is she a bit of a, you know, diva like yourself? Is she hard to maintain? <laughs> no, <laughs> in, in actual fact, she's the opposite. <laughs> she's not very hard to maintain at all, um, you know. This is the, the main reason why I, I wanted a bird more than any other mm. pet. Because um, with my life, my lifestyle, I'm very busy. I don't yeah. spend a lot of time at home. Um, so, I mean, I used to have a dog for many, many years. I used to have a Doberman. Mm. And um, what, uh, my, my Doberman, it died. And I, I tried to, I think I went for a, um, a Labrador after the Doberman. That didn't quite work out. <laughs> um, it was actually a black Doberman, but he actually didn't like black people. <laughs> Very, it wasn't very good, so I, I, I've kind of left dogs for a little while. I actually do um, dog sit, so I have a friend of mine, and usually when they go away on holiday, I actually take care of a little oh, chihuahua. That's nice. So that's, that's uh, I don't know if they'll have pictures to show you later. Okay. <laughs> um, but no, I have my beautiful Pearl. That's quite a big switch, isn't it, from a dog, though? Yeah, she's, she's very, you know, very easy to look after. It's just a matter of keeping, keeping her clean. Mm and um, feeding her. She, she mostly only eats seeds or, or fruit or veg so but you and water. You don't keep her always in the cage. I don't it? actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't cage her at all. She's actually, when she's at home with me, she's, she's loose. So um, she, she has her cage there. So she knows this cage is her home. Mm -hmm. It doesn't normally have the lid on. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like her, uh, her, her nest here. So she'll fly around and come back, always come back to her, her nest. Her nest. Oh, can we see a bit? Look, she's trying to hide yeah. in that cage. You can hardly she's, see her. She's trying to hide. She's really shy today. <laughs> Can't Say hello, no, Pearl. Pearl is not having Oh, she's Pearl. turned her back on you. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. She's yeah. not quite, um, friendly. quite friendly, but she's very shy today. She, she's you know, shy. Look, she's, she's peeping. <laughs> having a little peep. She's shy to the camera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tell us, Sam, I mean, what's your favourite thing about Pearl? You know, she's very, very peaceful. Mm. It's like having, sometimes, when I'm relaxing or meditating, I mean, she, do, she does chirp a lot. Mm. She's, 
the chirping is, is so pleasant. So it, it, she's relaxing, she's calm. And that's what I enjoy about her, just watching this white bird, her playing around. Sometimes she, she plays around, climbs around, does her own little tricks and things like that. I love to see her flying, mm. you know, so that, I enjoy that. So that, that's what I enjoy about her. Lovely. Let's go to you, MJ. Mm. You're a pet owner. What have you got? I have a beautiful rag doll, a cat. Cat? <laughs> <laughs> You're right to call her a rag doll, um, MJ. It's, it's actually a designer cat, isn't it? It's more you. like. Look at him, look at him. It's full of fur. She's beautiful. <laughs> Not she. It's he. Oh, it's, oh, it's a he. Oh, yes. Sorry. It's a he. Like he. His name is Jojo. How did she Jojo. get him then? I got him from, I adopt him from a friend. She had to travel abroad and she couldn't take him with her. So I stayed with him. Look at it all. Oh, look at that friend. <laughs> <laughs> so keep yeah, away yeah, from my bird, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why he's yeah, not here keep today. Keep away from my bird. Oh, so why is he not in the studio with us? Yeah, because Pearl is here. And what would that mean exactly? <laughs> oh, he would love to put his little paws uh, on <laughs> How long has Jojo been with you? 11 years now. Wow, so it's really like part of your family. Oh, he, absolutely. Me, wow. That's a long time. Wow. Me and my husband, we don't have children, so he's like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like your true. kids. It's Do you know, true. that's actually a good point, because I know a lot of couples who don't have kids, but they have a cat or a dog. Mm. Well, it was your replacement. No, no, no. I, no, he wasn't like that. <laughs> no, 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 I was no, going to no. say, which one does he look like? No, 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 no. He wasn't <laughs> like that. He wasn't <laughs> like that. Actually, when we... I stayed with him, and I told my friend, look, if it doesn't work out, I'll have to give him someone to someone else. Do you have a second friend yeah. that I can give him to? And she said, okay, if it doesn't work out with you, you can leave it with someone else. Mm. Um, because I was concerned with my husband, because he was like, oh no, He's I not don't a cat. Know. He wasn't I a cat know. person. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, Jojo, he has one thing. If he feels it does, you don't like him, that's when he feels like he has to conquer you. Mm. <laughs> so it was very... Honestly, he's like that. Really? If you go after him, like, I just said, come here, come here. He he's not interested he's in you. you. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you ignore him, that's when he feels, oh, wait a minute, I, there is someone here. He's <laughs> such a so man. Nice. That's why he was showing me so much attention when I came to you. Such a male cat, isn't it? Gosh, I need to put my charm into this <laughs> one. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's ignoring he's me. He's giving me a lot of attention. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's your job for you. Oh, so wow. He Charming. easily conquered my husband, and that was it. Aww. So he's not very affectionate, only when he wants to conquer someone. No, no, someone. no, my cat is not affection at all. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm at home and I watch these adverts of dogs and cats. The cats mm -hmm. come on the lap of their owners and I'm like, why, why? My cat doesn't do that kind of thing. It doesn't. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. However, like for example, if I'm sick or if I'm, you know, maybe a little bit upset and I'm at home, you know, maybe a little bit in my bed, just mm -hmm. sick mm -hmm. for some reason, he comes and Aww. he lay down next to me. But I'm sure, yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure he's a big company, especially if your oh, husband's yes, working and no, you're no, at yeah, home he's alone. he's a very big company. Big company. Like, if I'm by myself, if my husband is still at work, yeah. and, you know, I'm watching TV, he comes, he sits next to me. Even my husband as well, if yeah. I'm not around and he's yeah. just the two of them, he sits and even watches football with my husband. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a person there. So yeah, that's usual. Can I ask, what's the, most, what's the thing that you love most about your cat? I actually like the fact, and I know I just said that I wish he was a little bit more affectionate, but I, I actually like that on him, you know, that he's... <laughs> Got attitude. He has a nice attitude. cat with attitude. Whoa. I wish I had a little bit of more <laughs> of the attitude sometimes. I, I need to let you know that she's so designer. She's decorated the whole um, <laughs> department <laughs> to match the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is this is why I always call it a designer cat because he just blends in with you everything. Know, you are the second person that says that, and when it was she was the one that told me as well. When you guys told me that. I was like, it's true, it's yeah. like my house goes with, with a cat. Yes. Yeah, it was on purpose. You didn't plan it, are you no, sure? No, no, no. I was like, yeah. the cat has planted those seeds within her mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's got his own it. way. <laughs> he got his own way. <laughs> and you, Kim, what do you own? Tell us. Well, I have three cats. Ooh! Ooh. So not one, but three. 
Beat, beat that, MJ. <laughs> I tell <laughs> you. I'll get there. So, so how, did you get, how did you get those three? Well, I got my cats from a rescue home. Oh, wow. So, I mean, the story behind it, why I got these cats was, is that um, there was a time in my house I had this really bad mouth problem. I just could not get rid oh. of them. Oh, and nice I called picture. the council, mm. everything, couldn't get rid of them. So um, someone suggested, why don't you get a cat? And I said, OK. So we did eventually start to go around shop. We, we wanted to get like a designer cat and stuff at first, but then we said, no, let's do the right thing. We, let's go to a, an, rescue. a rescue home. And we did that. So all wow. three of us, my husband, my children, we found a rescue home. First of all, they have to come and inspect your house and make sure your house wow. is safe and everything. And so we went to a rescue home and um, we told them, I told them, I want one cat and one kitten. That's all I want. I said, the adult cats for me, the kittens for the children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so you got so, them all together? Yeah, I did. Wow, I did. amazing. So, we, so I told them, so they sent us to the, because um, they have like these people who will look after the cats mm. until they get adopted. So they sent me to a house and said, OK, these, this house has some like pregnant cats. So we went to the house and there was about two pregnant cats there at the time. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh. and then they told us the story of the pregnant cats and they were telling me the story of my cat. They said that she had been abandoned when she was like a year old because um, her, her um, owner found out she was pregnant and they abandoned oh. her on the heave. And obviously these um, cat rescue people, they found her and they mm. put her in. She was very um, thin and, you know, very lost. And so they took her in and, she, and when they took her in, she was pregnant. So um, mm. she, had, she had these cats, she had her kittens. And they said to me how we can only hone them in pairs so she had like an odd number amount of cats. And they said, well, you can't have two, you'd have to have three. And I was like saying, no, I don't want three cats. Yeah. Wow, and they're saying, no, work. you know, no, you can do this, you can do this. <laughs> and you know, she'll they be so you right into they it. They me into this and she'll be so lucky to have her kittens <clears throat> with her. Yeah. And so I spoke to my husband and the kids were there and we said, okay, let's do this. So we took, one cat was completely black and one was like her, that kind of, um, I don't know what you'd call that colour, but it was just like the mother. Yeah. So we took all three of them home and it was... It was you could all have one each. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I mean, it, when you get rescue cats, you know, they come back, they come, sometimes they can be a little bit disturbed, but she, they used to hide behind the city at oh, first. Oh, actually, had any issues with them when you got them? Before, they, when we brought them home, they would only hide behind the city, but bit by bit, we took, we got little toys and we'd coax them out. Mm. And then we would, you know, stroke them, put the food out for them and put their litter tray. And they would come out when we wasn't there. So bit by bit, they yeah, got yeah. used to us. The kittens were more easier to get used to. Because the they don't know. And yeah, mm. but the mother, she was a little bit cautious. And then within about, I would say less than a week, they started to come out. Then the mother would start sitting next to me on the city and I'd just <laughs> stroke her. And then we would get like little food and we'd coax them out, little, yeah. you know, like treats, um, yeah. animal treats, cat treats, and we'd coax them out. And then bit by bit, we do, they got used to us. Mm -hmm. And you know, they've been so, no mice in the house, I've seen that. Wow, that's, that's the good. first thing that we're wonderful thing about days, cats, isn't it? <laughs> within days, that problem was gone. Wow. But they have really become part of the family. I'd like to say, how long have you had your cats? I've had them since 2008. So, oh. gosh, they're really like oh. part of the house. They are. They're adapted to your home, like. They've completely, they've just oh, more or less yeah, taken over the home. Time. I mean, me and the mother, we, we get along with them, especially <laughs> me and the mother. We talk about our naughty kids, because the kids are like two naughty teenagers. We talk about the kids and the mother. And then you've got two, so. <laughs> Not to, yeah. So she'll come, she'll come on my bed and I'll talk with her and I'll That's stroke. You know, that she's such a great companion. When she's ready, I mean, when I when, when she's ready, she'll just go out because we put a cat flat so they can go out and do what they want. When we come in, they'll come and they don't monopolise our time. Mm. They come, spend time with us, let us know they're there <laughs> and then they go. So, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful, I would recommend anyone go to a cat rescue home. Yeah. Wow. Because the, I don't want to go on about it too much, but what they actually do for you, because when we when we got our cat from the cat rescue home, what they do, they microchip your cat, they um, sterilise your cat, That's good. they give them all That's the vaccines people always worried about and shots, yes, you know? yes. yeah. and they make sure that your cat is going to be compatible with yes. your life and everything yes. like that. Yes. Yeah. And they it's give you the vet. The cat comes to you one hundred percent healthy. healthy. That's yeah. good. So you, when it's you get that cat, you, you don't know. have to do anything, and then. 
when you get them, all they ask you for is a donation. So it's up to you what you want to donate. Oh, really? So you don't have, have to pay. pay. No, you don't have to pay. You give a donation because you, yeah. you, you're helping them by taking this yeah. cat. But what you get, the cat um, microchipped, sterilized, all the vaccinations, they give you the pet, they give you the cat book. And this, you get wow. this would probably be the same with any other animal, animal. That as yes, well. Yes, I suppose so, dog, yes. Yeah. Probably the same so thing. when you get this cat, you get a 100% healthy cat. Wow. Whereas if you go to the pet shop, you have to do all yeah. that stuff yourself. Yes, yeah. But they do everything for you. They follow you up if you've got any questions. It's really good. No. I would really recommend it. No, this wow. is something I want to do. almost got four cats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I nearly palmed one off on yeah, her. I did. <laughs> but my husband wouldn't have it. He wouldn't, would but I wanted it. It was a lovely ginger cat. Yeah, beautiful. my son turned up in my house one day with a beautiful ginger cat. But of course, That's I wasn't happy. That's another story for another day, right? Yeah, so... All right, then, ladies. Thank you so much for sharing your fab stories. And we'll hear more about your pets mm. and others straight after this break. That's right, welcome back and this is DKW and during the break we were talking about are kids better than having cats? Or vice versa? <laughs> well not sure, tell us what you think. 027 And speaking of cats, one big cat got caught this week, isn't it MJ? Tell us what happened. Apparently, apparently. Yes. apparently. Wow. Let me read you. According to the Mail Online, Andrew Silverman, the exchange husband of Simon Cowell's uh, pregnant lover, Lauren Silver Silverman, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Believes she was totally into Simon years before the pair embark on an affair. Ooh. It came as photos emerged on Friday of the X Factor boss sharing an intimate moment mm. with New York socialite <laughs> Lauren S Silverman during a cruise off the coast of the French Riviera in August 2012. A source, a source, how do you say, a source close to the Silverman family told Mail Online, this affair has been going on for a long time, much longer than anyone would think. Hmm. Surprisingly, a source close to the healthy, uh, wealthy uh, property developer said Andrew believes the affair only started early this year, adding, he knew Lauren was totally into Simon, but as far as Andrew is concerned, it was this spring when things went to another level. Oh, and apparently he yeah. was like the best friend, one of the yeah, Simon's best heard. friends. Mm, yeah. All I can say is, is that that's why people stick to pets. <laughs> <laughs> At least they don't betray you. Uh, wow. <laughs> No, but I, seriously, I was very shocked. When I heard the news this week, I was absolutely shocked because Simon's one of those people that he just never can settle down in a relationship. No, he's yes. like, he's with this person, he's with this person, and probably because so back loyal. in, you know, because he had this one, you know, behind. Yeah. And I thought, Simon, at your age, come yeah, on. Exactly. And she was, she's married, isn't she? She's got a child. Best friend. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, terrible. Um, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Really, it's very really sneaky. Sad. You know, yeah, you'd think nice. with all the wealth and the money they've got, so many people would be happy to be in a relationship Indeed. with him. And look, what does he do? He picks somebody who's unavailable, who's somebody else's wife, and destroys her life. It just wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah it wasn't awful. necessary. It's not showing you, even all the money and the power they've got, it's just like they just can't get it right. I know, it's so shameful as well. Yeah, I've got yeah. shameful I think some, some of them sometimes is exactly that money and that power that makes them think they are invincible and that yeah, they can do whatever they, they want and, and yeah, people they shouldn't they, use them as their role models. Exactly. exactly. They look at them as role models. Yeah. Why? No, no, it's, so, it's, it's just so shocking. It's like you're so deceived by the person that like, you see them all the time. Like, he's on X Factor, American Idol. We all know that he's a little bit sneaky. Yeah. 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 But not in this century. No. Yeah, not, I was really like, I had to do a double take when I saw it on the news. Yeah. I was like, yeah. seriously? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I couldn't believe you. it. <laughs> you know, and you? apparently, like this holiday that they were together, the husband was there as well. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, his pictures. The husband is there as well. That's another, like, that's a whole nother level like, like even, said. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, come on. Such a betrayal, isn't Ooh, it? Indeed, poor yeah. woman. I don't think poor woman. What about Ooh. the other one? <gasps> Which one? The one he was going to get married to. Yeah. yeah. No, they, they weren't uh, 
They were serious? No, they weren't um, together anymore. Oh, really? Oh, okay. He was oh, single really? again. Really? Oh, okay. See, I can't keep oh, up. Yeah. All right, That's then poor, big... poor man then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Poor, poor husband. Yeah, poor husband. Yeah, poor husband. Mm. All right. Well, let's know what you think about it. Call us live on the studio, 0207 686 and we'd love to hear from you. But now, let's stick to pets, as Sam was saying. A bit more faithful, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this occasion, <laughs> we've got a game, our famous DK. W game, right, ladies? I'm mm. going to be posing the questions to you. Ooh. Just got two questions. Let's start with question number one. First of all, I want you to get your. You've got some um, white cards and okay. pens. Get them yes. ready. Yes. We have yes. them here. And a pen. Good, good. And you can play at home as well. Feel free. Okay. First of all, I want you guys to do to do this. Write down your favourite animal. Oh, what we is have your to write. favourite animal. Yes. Mm. Okay. People are going to say think we're going to say. She was going to say birds and we we're going to say cats, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> no conferring, no talking at this point. Everyone at home, if you'd like to participate, you can too. Get a piece of paper and write down your favourite animal. Just the animal. Just the animal, your oh, favourite yeah. animal. All done? Yes. OK. Now, write down three adjectives describing your favourite animal. That's three. And be quick about it as well. Ooh. OK, then. Today. Oh gosh, I'm really having to think hard on this one. <laughs> it doesn't come over easy. I want you to be quick, quick, quick. I'm it trying. Straight from, your, straight from your mind. No God, time you to never think. make our work easy, do you, Shireen? <laughs> <laughs> so three adjectives that describe your favourite animal. Mm -hmm. Now, next, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Very good, guys. What's your favourite colour? Oh, need another paper. Yep. Yeah. Okay, next then. paper. What's your okay. favourite colour? Question number two. What's your favourite colour? Okay. But I've got more than one. Just oh. choose one, Sam. Oh, dear. Just choose one. Okay. Oh, God, if I must. <laughs> <laughs> favourite colour, all done. Now, write down three adjectives about your favourite colour. Um, Describing no. it. Three things that describe your favourite colour. What comes to your mm. mind? You could do that at this at home as well? And I'm going to be revealing to you what these mean. All right, then. There is one here that it's not an adjective, but that's the only thing <gasps> I can think of. <laughs> right, okay. you're five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. OK. <laughs> Are you ready, oh, Sam? Yes. Am I first? You're first. Why do I have to be first? I'm still on my... I've still got one more to think about. Five, okay. four... Three, oh my. What two, do you want to know first? One. OK, I want to know what was your favourite animal. Please show us. My favourite animal is... Can you see there? What does it say Can there? Can you read my oh, writing? White horse. Was it it's white actually horse. a white horse. Oh, and can tell us, what were your three adjectives pertaining to your white horse? Well, I, pick, I, I, I like the fact that it's elegant, elegant mm -hmm. it's powerful and strong. Mm. OK, then, lovely. Kimmy, what about you? What's your favourite animal? Mine is a lion. And I like the fact that it's royal, majestic and powerful. Mm. Liking it. What about you, MJ? <laughs> Funny enough, mine. it's very similar <laughs> with Sam. Aww. I just love, love horses. horses. And my oh, wow. dream is for one day to own a horse. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, I want it. I would love to own and a horse. And it's because for me they are strong, majestic and charismatic. Yes, indeed they are. OK, very are nice. Indeed. This is very interesting, guys. I'm going to explain to you why shortly. Now, tell us what was your favourite colour, Sammy? Well, I thought my viewers could guess this one. Can they phone in and say something? No, they can't. No, they Sam oh. this side. Sammy, this is my game, not yours. Okay, All right, then. Just if stick I must. to it. Well, my favourite colour is purple. Oh, oh I would have never lovely. guessed. I thought she was going to say red. No. Actually, purple. red is one of them as well. I, like, okay. I love red and I love your dress colour as well. Thank you. That's three lovely colours. I love that three. <laughs> Stick to purple, to purple today. And what are the three adjectives that describe your favourite colour? Well, I've, I've got here rich, mm. royal mm. and powerful. Mm. Wow, oh. liking it, liking it. OK, Kimmy, what about you? Mine is green oh. and I put that it's calm, peaceful and natural. 
like it. And to conclude, what about you, MJ? What's your favourite colour? Mine is red. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we love red. We love red. Because We've got a lot in common, we have. We, we do. do. We certainly do. Mm. Like it. Fire, vibrant and lively. Mm, okay, let's mm. get the... Okay, now, let's get the first ones back. Your animals. First one. okay. Let me explain okay. to you what this means. Thank you. You're going to laugh at home when you see this. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How are we going to love you or hate you? Are well, we it best? depends on what you've written down, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you got them ready? Can yes. you please show them all to the camera once again so I can do the grand revelation? Mm. So I asked you what your favourite animal was and three adjectives that describe your animal. Yeah. And I'm happy to reveal to all of you, now looking at your, your adjectives, that what you've written down about your animal are what you think about yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> This describes just how you see yourself. Oh, we're majestic. majestic. So, and we've got Sam to put this. Uh-huh, that's how you see yourself. Now, I would like to know if the viewers agree with Ooh, this. Ooh, yes, give us a call. Call in. 027 686 Do you reckon our Sam is really elegant? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, <laughs> live on TV. Oh. And Kim, what did you say about yourself? Please remind I us. I put that on. I put royal, Ooh. Yes. majestic, and powerful. Oh, oh down to a two. Anyone at home back to Diva? <laughs> Please give us a call. And MJ, what did you write? Strong, majestic as well. Yes. Wow. And, and charismatic. charismatic. Oh. Anyone side with MJ? Let us know. 027 686 Well done, ladies. So this is how you see yourself. Very nice. Now, okay. I'm what about the colours? This means now. Hmm. What about the colours? What do the colours mean? The colours, could you please put them up so we can see again what oh, you put down? Wrong one, wrong one. There we go. Now the three adjectives that you wrote down about your favourite colour describe how others see you. Ooh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, let's start with you, MJ. What did you write down? Fire. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Vibrant. No, no, no. <laughs> lively. Yeah. Lively. Yes, you are yeah. lively. Maybe the lively. lively. Yeah. yeah. I'll tick your lively. Come, let me tick your lively. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, Kimmy? I've got Ta calm. Calm. Oh, sometimes. Calm. <laughs> um, peaceful. Peaceful. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Natural. Yeah. And natural. natural. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I would, I would, I would <laughs> go for all of those. Yes. Yeah. What about you, Sammy? I've got powerful, mm. royal, mm. and rich. Uh, oh, I think I could be a bit more. I, I, I wouldn't mind getting a bit more on this. <laughs> help me out a bit. Ooh, help me out a bit. This <laughs> one. <laughs> That's about right for you, Sam. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for participating <laughs> in that game. You're welcome. And you can feel you, free no to problem. do that at home. Let us know what did you get? What were the answers that you got? Feel free to share with us in the studio. Once again, the number is 0207 686 6300. Now, let's I move on. Game. Mm. I need to know, because, you know, I don't have a pet. You know, and I'm very inspired by the many things that you've said, but I want to know, if you're looking for a pet, how do you go about getting one? What would be the tips that you can provide to us here in the studio, ladies? What you might you consider first? Let us know. I think one of the first things you have to think about is even something that Sam said about your lifestyle. Yeah, indeed. Like, for example, I love horses. Mm -hmm. I would love to have a big dog, you know, but I know that I don't have, first of all, I don't have the house mm. to have a big dog. And as well, I don't have the time because, you know, the dogs, they, they need you to walk, walk, them. Yes. walk them. They don't like to be by themselves. So all of that, I know that for my lifestyle, at the moment, it's not something that I should think about owing a dog. So that's why a cat is a much <laughs> better oh, no. option well, for although me. Although you're saying that, the little miniature dogs oh, no, no, are they, not they so are much work. They're too demanding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're too demanding. They, they require I your attention. I thought they were attention. just like cats. All the, no, they require all the attention all the time. And they <laughs> want... <laughs> so with your, no, your no, lifestyle, no, no. you've got to understand that it's you have about to understand. It's not just about you, it's about what that pet needs yeah. to do. Exactly. And maybe you can't provide everything for that pet. Exactly. I think that's very important. What else? 
I would say commitment mm. because an animal is a commitment, not, not just for Christmas, it's for life as we hear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but because you know, sometimes you, you get your little kitten, you think it would like with us when we got kittens so cute, but they get big mm. and they last up to, they, when they last, I mean, they can live up to 10 <laughs> to 20 years. Mm. Yeah. So you have to be prepared to commit yeah. to that. You, when you, when, if you're going to go on holiday, you've got to make sure they're being well kept, oh, looked, taken care point. of. You have to commit to it. It can't be just to fill a gap or, oh, I just fancy this pet. Mm. Right now, you've got to commit. You've got to commit your life, and the animal has to become part of your your family. Yeah. Like if, if somebody comes to me, so oh, I don't like cats. Well, you're not really welcome mm -hmm. because exactly. the cat is is part of the family. So it's a commitment to the animal. True. What mm. else? <laughs> and that's one that you really do need to think about your budget. Mm. Yes. Because yes. depending on the type of um, animal or pet that you have, I mean, if it's like pet, it's it's very cost. It doesn't cost a lot mm. to maintain a, 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 yeah. a, a pet a pet bird like 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 Pearl. Mm. But other animals, you know, you have to mm. think about the food, the bills, you know, vaccinations, yeah. regular yeah. visits to the, yes. to the vet, vet. Yes. Actually, you know, health, injury. injuries and things. You know that because you Everyone went through issues. that yourself. Yeah. I mean, a friend of mine, a, um, a dog had an injury mm. and she spent over 500 pounds yeah. just, you know, mm. to, to get him well, you know. So these are the things, I mean, other things, buying toys. I've got a few things written down here as well mm. to help me out. Mm. Uh, maintenance cost. Gosh. Yeah. And so, if you so if say you are on a budget because you know every in, in you know contemporary life these days you know mm. everything counts every penny counts what are the what kind of animals that you can have that will not cost too much mm. I think like and I don't want to say the cheaper ones yeah. <laughs> cheaper. but the ones like you can easily maintain and mm. it doesn't cost you as much is um, hamsters mm. um, birds. And let me see a few more goldfish. Oh, mm -hmm. goldfish! Mm -hmm. I want one of those. It says here reptiles, reptiles, but yeah. honestly, no, this thanks. is not my kind of pet. But anyway, um, so I think this, like, per year, it will cost you between sixty pounds and two hundred pounds to maintain. Oh, the year? okay, so it's not mm. bad. It's not no. bad. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, I think I'm thinking that there's a difference if if the person is unemployed. Yes. Mm. Uh, if the person is unemployed, they've they've really got to think probably a lot more. Yeah. If the person has a family, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they're like what you was talking about, commitment, these are the things, what they need to think seriously mm. about the type mm. of a pet that they have. Mm. Can I ask you how much it costs to have a cat? Because you've got you've got a cat. Like how much does it cost you? Um, is it, is well, it you've got things like insurance that you you have to pay just in case your cat gets yeah. injured. Mm -hmm. You have three cats. Isn't I got three. But then they make deals, isn't it? When you have yeah. more than yeah. one. Yeah, I mean it's not a lot of money, but it's something that you do have to maintain. Yeah. Food for cats, and I would I think it's not very expensive mm -hmm. because they don't eat that much. They're not like you have to buy big bags of food. And mm -hmm. I mean I I feed my cat in a combination of dry and wet food. Mm. So I don't, I personally don't think it's a that, lot. That very I would expensive. say for the, for the three of them, I probably might spend what, 20 to 30 pound a month for yeah. food. Oh, right, they're saying you not bad, yeah, you know, not bad. And, and my cats are quite well fed, they're quite mm. plump. <laughs> and <laughs> I say, you guys are just watching me. You fed your cats with um, wet and dry foods. Mm -hmm. I only, fed my cat with dry food. I used mm. to feed him with wet food, mm. but he used to sting. That's the thing. Can do I you know what I recommend for that? What you do, <laughs> Tell me. you only, you put the dry food out, but you only buy the pouches, right? Yeah, yeah. You only get the pouches. Yeah, yeah. So when you give, so when you want to give them a little <laughs> wet food, you just open up the pouch, give them, they'll eat it straight away, so it doesn't get a chance to smell your house. But I understand no, you might no, no, that no, smell. No, no. It's, it's here All right, guys, okay, okay, okay. okay. Where mm. can people go to get a pet? <laughs> Tell me. Where can pet they go? Shops. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. pet shops. <laughs> yeah, other than pet shops, yeah. where else can they go to get a pet? Internet. You can buy. You, you, I mean, when I was looking for birds, I'm sure uh, there was one point where we were looking on the internet and seeing mm. the different types of birds that there were. So, internet is another way. Yeah, to I think another way is um, adopt from friends. Mm. Um, like you did. Like I, it? what I did, mm. but what I did not always happen, but mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, there is, you have friends that have um, dogs or cats that are pregnant, mm -hmm. so maybe you can adopt, you know, the little kitten, so yeah. that's something nice to do as well. 
I mean, I would, as, as, you, as I said before, I would recommend the animal shelters. Okay. There are some really great ones in the UK, and they take a, and they're doing such an amazing job. And these animals are actually looking for a home. Yeah. So, and you know, when you get this cat or dog or whatever animal you, because you can get any animal from them: rabbits, gerbils, guinea pigs anything there is an animal trust for just about any animal but when the animal comes to you they come in such good health good yeah. care mm. and you just need to give a little patience a little bit of love and animals and you'll be doing a good thing for, for the society them. too well speaking about animal shelters do you remember our sister hostess chrissy b she visited one recently and we've got a video about that let's have a look wow. I'm here with Claire from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. She's going to tell us a bit about what they do here. Hi Claire, thanks so much for letting us come here today. So tell me, what do you do here? Well, Battersea Dogs and Cats Home has been around for about 152 years now and we've been helping to reunite lost dogs and cats with their owners. And if we're unable to do that, then we'll care for them until we can find them a new home. And on site, uh, between here and our other two sites in Old Windsor and Brands Hatch, we have about 150 cats and about 450 dogs, so big operation. I mean, if they fall into the wrong hands, then any dog can be trained up in, in poor behaviours, which we don't want. For Staffies, we just we have so many of them here. They're our main breed, um, but they just make the most fantastic pets. So we just want to encourage people to consider them as a family pet. enrichment program here at the home uh, where the dogs have a variety of different senses that they can experience so we're helping to turn a really sort of static environment into a nice dynamic one by providing um, new smells, different sounds, just a sort of stimulation of their psychological health as well as their physical health as well. Something we use in our kennel enrichment program is the use of peanut butter and marmites. The dogs really love it. It's, you know, it's a very strong smell and it can keep them occupied for quite a while. Um, so anything that we can do to make the animals' lives better is fantastic. So if anybody out there is uh, looking to donate something, these are the things we need. Okay, you actually put them in cones for, for the dogs for them to... Yeah, but we have uh, these very durable um, toys called Kongs um, and we can stick them inside that, maybe a teaspoon or something lined on the inside and it just can keep them going for quite a while. Claire, it's great what you're doing here and if you guys do want to help, please do get in touch. Um, the website's on your screen now. There's lots of different ways that you can help. So please, please do get in touch and help these lovely dogs and cats out. Oh, so beautiful. Kimmy mm. wants to take all those dogs home, by the way. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> really nice. Now, I want to know, are you too close to your pets? Could that be the reason that, you know? Anyway, we'll be giving you eight signs after this break. If you're too close to your pet, please stay tuned. Welcome back to DKW, and today we're discussing all things pets. Now, we're going to reveal to you eight telltale signs that you may be a bit too close to your pet. I mean, affection is wonderful. We love our animals, like we've said of today course. on the show. We do. But sometimes it may just cross the line a little bit. So we're going to be revealing to you right now, how do you know we've gone a little bit far? What's tip number one? Well, if your pet is on Facebook, or dog book, as apparently now dog there book? is dog book. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. So if your pet is wow. on Facebook and he has more friends than you do. <gasps> That's a bad uh, sign. And <laughs> when that is a terrible sign. You come out of the you come out of the park with your dog <laughs> and then you post his picture and you write, just come out of the park, what a, oh, what a nice walk I had, or something like that. That is getting a little bit weird. Don't you? Wow, that, that's a bit. <laughs> um, I'm, I've got one. It's um, 
if you start to see your pet as actually a boyfriend or girlfriend, you refer <laughs> to your pet as your boyfriend or girlfriend. I think that's really, really unhealthy. I'll have to sign. For anyone that's out people. there who's taking it a bit too far, Mm-mm. There are some people that do say that they prefer their pets to partners. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do but I, I, th- I think it's unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Way I, too far. I think once you once you start, you know, making yourself that you're you're putting a big blockage on your love life, mm. yeah. and I don't, I don't think that's healthy at all. I've got no. one. Your pet has a name, so stick to it. So there's no need to call your pet <laughs> things like baby, monkey, <laughs> or stinky. I do call mine my, my stinky because he does stink sometimes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think another no-no is if someone comes to you and says, "Is it, it's me, or the dog?" Oh, oh. Then I think you really need to stop and that think is a little not bit. Good. <laughs> What's the next tip? Um, next tip, yes. <laughs> sorry, it's actually your pet spa. Oh, yeah. So your little pouch. Can't miss his appointments at the spa. <laughs> um, so that, that's something to think about. <laughs> mm. The thing is, it's only when you, I think it's only something to think about when you miss yours, but you make sure that he doesn't hit miss his one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something to think about. <laughs> what about you, Kimmy? Oh. What have you got? Um, wearing coordinating outfits with your pet. I've seen that. You see mm. it a lot, don't you? I see it, yeah. especially nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Bags. Coordinating Things with like your bags. pet. Your pet, well, you may like it, but you've got to remember the pet might ne- not necessarily be too keen on that. <laughs> well, that one looks quite nice. It's yeah, cute. that looks yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I could see myself doing something yeah. like that. Yeah, I could, Sam. Yeah. I really could, oh dear. Um, when you plan to leave your estate to your pet. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh! to join us. <laughs> yes. I love how Pearl decided to intervene when she said about leaving the a inheritance s- to the pet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Pearl. Pearl says, yay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. That one, that one is rich <laughs> Sorry, MJ. Pet in- um, Pearl interrupted you. What was you saying? Yeah, <laughs> leaving your estate to your pet because, honestly, they don't need <laughs> drivers. They don't need mansions. They, they don't need millions. all of all Very of unhealthy. That, yeah. And there's so Very many people and there's a lot of people that yeah, do this, so you know. Po- yeah, people do do this. Homeless yeah. people who are out there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But you can make a about. donation to an animal trust. I think exactly. that's cool. I think yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah. The Shelters. best way to do it. Yes. yes. Um, I've got one to invite friends to celebrate the pets party. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday. Yeah, the birthday party. That's a bit. So mm. it'd be like me inviting all of you guys because it's it's Pearl's <laughs> birthday. Oh, I'll come. You know, I actually know when it's my cat's birthday, but I, you know, I don't go. As... Would you go to the no. extreme of inviting us for a meal? Would you invite us round? I could invite you around, but not for this. No. <laughs> I that's over the top, I'm isn't it? Frizzies. Well, our DKW angels hit the streets to find out from local people what they thought about their pets. Let's see what they had to say. How long have you had your pet for? Uh, six years, actually. Six long years. <laughs> Um, I've had my dog uh, seven years, my snake two years, uh, bearded dragon two years, and some newts for about eight or nine years. Since I was born, really, I've had them quite a long time. I've had my, I adopted them. I have had them for a year and a half, because he's a year and a half old. So, yes. For nearly one year, almost. For about four years now. And what's your favourite thing about your pet? Hmm. <laughs> I do have one. The <laughs> one thing, okay, what do you think is cute or like you just like? She's not cute. Um, uh, when I'm sad, she comes up to me and she checks for me, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my snake, um, he has a good cuddle. <laughs> um, my bearded dragon is quite interesting to watch when he's running around and um, the dog is not very exciting at all. He's quite lazy, so are the newts. <laughs> well, he, he cuddles up to you and stuff at night time and 
He's really cuddly and soft. My favorite thing about him, <laughs> he, I like that he, he sleeps in my mom's bed and then he comes down in the middle of the night and sneaks into my bed and wakes up in the morning and he's like looking at me. Every morning I wake up next to him. <laughs> listens to me. No, li listens to me, you know. It, it doesn't deny like a human, you know. It listens to me. Whatever I say, go for it. Well, it's my laugh. <laughs> it's my friend and it's nice to have a pet at home and it's nice to have a dog. It's nice. <laughs> and do you think everyone should have pets? No. Why? Um, you need to be like a pet person. A pet isn't for everyone. You need to be like, especially caring, which I'm not. Luckily, I have a sister who can take care of the dog. <laughs> so um, you need a lot of patience. It's like bringing up a child in a way, so yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's good to have pets and good to play with. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because they're the best thing in the world. Probably. If you, if, because, I don't know, if you have, it all depends if you're a pet lover. If you're a pet lover, you should have a pet, or a dog, or a cat. Of course, definitely everyone should have a pet. Hmm, <laughs> depends on the person's opinion, yeah? Maybe, I would say 70% of the humans should say yes. Uh, the ones who can't handle the dogs, leave them for the cats. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I like how that guy says, my, my pet listens to me, he says, come yeah. ahead, no matter what. <laughs> but I think you do have to be a pet lover, yes. you know, yes. it's so important because this is, there's so many people who do treat animals cruel yeah. as well. So there's the other side to it and I think if, you, if you're, if you're going to treat, if you're going to uh, mistreat animals, you should just not yeah. You know, have yeah, we were one discussing at all. earlier about being too close to your pet, but some people might say, well, there's nothing wrong with being too close, is there? I think so. I think, I think it's, it's important not to allow your pets to interfere with your life in, to an extent, to the point that, you know, you're missing work because of your pet. <laughs> you know, things like that. I think you have to be really, really careful. You know, you, you, for example, you're, you, you, you're not doing your household duties because yeah. of your pet. You're too busy with your <laughs> pet, you're so consumed with your pet that it interferes with your life. Nah. You know, according to um, this website, petplace.com, uh, one of the, their counsellors, um, Marty Tosley, notes that human pet bounds are unhealthy when we expect our pets to take the place of people. While our bonds with pets are beautiful and fulfilling, they should not replace our desire to be with people. Mm. And I think that's what's happening these days, don't you? Yeah. Think, like, I, I, mean, yeah. I, I must say, it's like nowadays, in the last 10 years, it seems like the pet culture's kind of increased. Yes. It's like everyone's got, it's like a pet is like an accessory. It's like you have, you know, your little dog with you or a cat. Or you just have a pet. Like I said, even more, more and more couples yeah, cause you get, don't get seem women to be having. Yeah, you have, with their hand you have now. With a pet. It's like a fashionable thing yes. as well, which can be dangerous because, yeah. you know, that is also a life that you're, you're taking care of. Mm. But I've also seen, like I said earlier, some pets are actually becoming replacements for children. Like people don't yes. want to have kids, but they'll have a pet. Mm -hmm. So yes. you know, there's all of that happening these I days. I mean, it is important that your pet, your pet, shouldn't affect your relationship with your family. I don't know if you've managed to, if you've ever seen this program called Animal Hoarders. No, I haven't. No. I've seen Animal Hoarders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's it about? Tell us. <laughs> Never it tends heard to, of it. What it is, it's for example, um, they th there's it's, it's an American program. Mm. You know, they've got the people that hoard stuff. Yeah, there's in these people who hoard animals. <gasps> I know someone. I've seen it. Wow. Oh my god! In actual fact, where I live, there is actually a person, and this person's cat. She has about thirty cats. Animal hoarder. Ooh. In her it's house. It's a real it's deep, really awful psychological problem, yeah. <laughs> and it happens a lot. It's, it's like they enjoy the control of being able to breed the animals. Oh, and when they have disgusting. the animals, they, it's like they lose all contact with human beings. They live in squalor because the animals come first. They destroy mm. their family. They take away their finances. Wow. And, the, and not to say the animals are even being well looked after. They're not because they've been allowed to multiply so much. It's like the person loses all contact with reality and they just hoard these animals. They let them reproduce over and over again. Oh. And they end up living in squalor with mm. the animals. It's, 
to watch it. Wow. That's, that's, good that's mm. disgusting. I'm it is sorry. disgusting, but yeah, when you when you look at the psychology behind it and why people do it, it's really quite sad mm. because when you look at the, the background of the person, the person always has had something disturbing in their background. That's why they've, they've come to that. this stage. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Just because you know people tend to. If people have problems with their relationships with mm. humans, mm -hmm. and ah. that can be friends, family, mm. then they have it with their cats, with their dogs, because, like that guy said, the do the cat or the dog listens to you. It's not going <laughs> to I mean, say. It's, you it's actually not, hear gonna, about people yeah. marrying their animals. No, no, that's crazy. It's, so it's about madness. having the control because yes, you can control the animal. Yeah. Well. You can't control. The and it's things. like that, that. There are things in your life that you don't want to listen to, and mm. your cat, your dog, is not going to tell you the truth, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that's if your you, family. If, you, if you've got an obedient <laughs> <Yeah>. pet, <laughs> or you've no, got, they will still not tell you. <laughs> or you've got the other side of the coin. You know when you hear about. A lot of those um, um, those those killers. Yes. That in the beginning, they start mm. killing off killing animals. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. that's a yeah. big gun. Yeah. You, know, you hear about it all the time. Yeah. You know, little Johnny had a baby. I had a little kitten. What happened to the kitten? The kitten. Mm. Mm. See so if that cat goes missing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you know another thing is when the person thinks that she cannot live without. The pet, mm. yes, like the pet is everything to them. Mm -hmm. They don't go on holiday because they don't have where to leave the pet. Mm. Uh, they don't go to work because oh my god, what's going to happen with my pet? Mm -hmm. uh, so when your cat becomes your life, then yes, I yes, think mm. you, you know, actually turn down invitations. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, you can't get a chance to socialize with your friends and family mm. because of your pet. Mm. Very unhealthy. No, it's not good. Oh, you guys, we're coming to the end of the show. Yes. yes. I really, really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. it. I have so, enjoyed so it. I've loved it. And, and have you thing, enjoyed it, Pearl? Have you enjoyed it? It's all about Pearl. It's all about, <laughs> about you, Pearl. <laughs> No, but just to conclude, ladies, at the end of the day, there's a lot to be admired about the pets. Yes. As, as I've seen, um, to, as someone that's not a pet lover, I, I do think I might get a pet now because of you guys. Oh, but you've been convinced. what is it that I've learned that I'd like to share? You know, there are the beautiful char characteristics that you see in your, in your pets, like they're faithful. You can admire the fact that they're loyal, that they're great companions. They're available when others aren't, mm -hmm. you know. And we can look inside ourselves and look at ourselves and uh, we can say to ourselves, ask, ask the, ourselves the question, are we also like that? Are we faithful? Mm -hmm. Are we faithful to our family? Are we faithful to our friends? Are we available? Are we great companions? You know, and that is one thing I would like to share with everyone watching. What is it about your pet that you love so much? Are you also the same with those people around you? Not just with your pets, because some people are as faithful to their yeah, pet as they are true. to them. Mm. But what about those around your loved ones? Are you as faithful to them? Are you as admirable to them? Are you as, you know, friendly, as available? Do you do for others what your pet does for you? That's the question that I would like to leave you with. And thank you very much for joining us today. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.